Here's your weather authorities forecast first from WTAJ. All right, good evening to you. Taking a look at our temperatures right now into the 60s to right around 70. It's warm, it's muggy, but the good news is rain chances now have dropped off, and that's going to be the theme here as we head into your Saturday. It warms up, but the rain chances return. Yes, over the weekend. All the details on that coming up. Your News at 11 starts right now. Live from your news leader, this is WTAJ News at 11. Thanks so much for staying up with us tonight. I'm Maria Cade. Well, we begin tonight in Center County where dozens of trees are uprooted, vehicles smashed and debris scattered. Now cleanup efforts are underway after a powerful storm. I couldn't believe it. I never saw such a mess in my life. Frightening moments, untold damage. It sounded like something hit the house and I was closing windows and when I come down, this is what I saw. You know, it, it just, it happened real quick. This was all left behind by a strong storm in Center County in the Mount Eagle area in Howard. I had got home from work, just finished eating supper, and my wife just came home, put the dog out, it started to rain, he came around, let him in, sat down in the couch and it happened and he just came in so he would have been that tree would have landed on my dog had I not came, got him. It hit around 630 uprooting dozens of trees some smashing a shed an old truck and landing on other vehicles. Yeah, that was my barbecue shed so my barbecue grills done and my barbecue, my barbecue sheds down on the ground and our deck is caved into the ground so um, but yeah, we're okay. Egan says in 15 minutes it was all over, leaving a hole in his roof, his deck, and damaging his vehicles. But he says luckily no one was injured. I mean, I've, we've seen it in places, but I would not have thought here, right here, but it, it happened. New tonight, multiple crews are investigating a possible explosion at the AMC theaters in Altoona. Now details are limited at this time, but the deputy chief of the Allegheny Township Volunteer Fire Company tells us that they were called after a loud boom was heard in theater three. We're told that there was no damage found inside and no one was hurt. Emergency services show up in our biggest time of need. It can be a challenge in many of our smaller communities, but after months of work and collaboration, that's changing for a township in Clearfield County. For the last several months, Bigler Township and Clearfield County Sheriff's Departments have been working together to provide more of a police presence. And this morning, three police officers are now officially part-time Bigler Township Regional Police members after being sworn in through a recertification process. So you talk about response times on critical incidents. You know what I mean? You're looking at, you know, a couple minutes now, you know, for response times. And like I said, minutes count. The three of us are going to step up and try and provide uh, services and assistance to the residents in the area. The officers say they hope to use their skills and knowledge to serve and protect residents. Police and State College are asking for your help in identifying a person that they say is responsible for vandalism. Take a look at your screen here. Police are trying to identify the person that you see. They say that this person threw a rock at the window of the wash and dry laundromat on West Hamilton Avenue around 3.30 a.m. on July 1st. If you know who this person is or if you have any information regarding the investigation, you are asked to contact State College Police. A Spring Mills man is facing multiple charges for his involvement in the January 6th riots. According to court documents, Terry Allen attacked officers with a flagpole during the incident. They say footage from the scene showed Allen carrying the flagpole, which he then used to shove into officers in a stabbing motion. Charges are being dismissed in one of two cases against a former Westmont Hilltop music teacher. This is Sean Miller, who was facing multiple charges related to sexually assaulting a student. The Cambria County District Attorney says the charges were withdrawn after an evidence issue came about. He says the charges were withdrawn without prejudice, which means that they can be refiled at any time in the future. Miller still faces a felony charge of indecent assault of a person less than 13 in another case. 
Something new is coming to the James E. Van Zandt VA Medical Center. Employees and public officials held a ribbon cutting this afternoon for a new operating room. This is the VA's third operating room at the main Altoona location. This one costs $70,000 and can be used for orthopedic, dental and other surgeries. Officials say this allows their veterans to receive procedures more quickly and efficiently as their patient body continues to grow. It can allow patients to have more of their surgical care right here closer to home and reduce the amount of drive time and other associated um, difficulties with traveling related to their surgical care. We're told the fully equipped OR also provides anesthesia care. And a heads up for drivers in Altoona, you can expect delays as traffic signal upgrades are on the way for East Chestnut Avenue. This Tuesday, PennDOT will start work in the Juniata section of Altoona at the intersection of North 4th Avenue and North 8th Street. The work will continue toward Juniata Gap Road. Drivers are asked to slow down and watch out for workers and equipment. Tapman Run Beach at Raystown Lake is being closed for the time being. Now this is due to a high level of E. coli that was found in a recent sample from the swimming area. According to the Raystown Lake U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the beach will reopen when the bacteria level is back within the safe range for swimming. From WTHA, your weather authority, here's your weather now. All right, let's take you to Dubois right now where the conditions are very quiet, although we continue to feel a little bit muggy, but the humidity is actually starting to drop just a bit with the help of that cool front. And look at the winds here out of the north at six miles per hour. Dew point now 56, so that is much more comfortable for you in northern parts of Pennsylvania. Not all of us, though, feeling that pleasant air just yet. Some of us will be stuck in the 60s, at least dew point wise, as we head into the year day tomorrow. But still, quieter weather tonight. Viper has totally taken a nap at this point, and I think that's what we're going to be talking about here at this point into the morning. Temperatures in the upper 60s in Punxsutawney, currently 70 in Altoona, 73 in State, 71 in Bedford, and comfortable at 68 for you in Somerset. Note those changes in dew point numbers to the 50s right around Dubois, but still hanging on to 69 as that dew point in Huntington 70 in State College. So certainly still muggy though. That front's still swinging through and slowly moving through. So it's not a fast moving front and it's not a strong front. But as we head into tomorrow, temperatures warming up, seasonable levels and much more on the drier side. But that doesn't last the whole weekend. I have all the details coming up. Maria. Christopher, thank you. Blue Barn Farm in Williamsburg is known for their fresh produce and berry picking, but now you can also add flower picking to your visit. It's thanks in part to the hard work by two high schoolers, Eleanor and Erilyn. The duo are harvesters and berry pickers at the farm, but recently rose to the occasion to add flower growing to their list. Honestly, I love coming back every week and seeing all the flowers and how much they progressed and it just makes me so happy. It's the whole process and seeing how it's continuing as we go on and working with Eleanor has been pretty fun. So. And if you would like to visit, the farm is open every day from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. An 11 year old from Blair County is making an impact, organizing a community carnival for the second year. Caitlin's Carnival opened tonight at Hillside Church in Bellwood and runs throughout the weekend. All proceeds from her festival will benefit repairs at the Bellwood Pool. For her to put all the initiative together, her and her mom and her family to do this for the Bellwood Community Pool and stuff is uh, it's phenomenal. Um, we need a lot more of it in the younger generation, but we'll take what we got. And she says that she is going to pick a new organization every year to raise funds for. Well, the 4th of July may be over, but fireworks are still filling the skies in Clearfield County. Tomorrow from 2 p.m. until 10 p.m., the Madera Family Day will be taking place in the community park. There will be live music, fire trucks, face painting, a petting zoo, chicken dinners from the fire hall, and more. And that's all capped off with a fireworks show. 
And this weekend, you can also check out the Arts Altoona Festival. It's being held tomorrow from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the Arts Altoona Buildings parking lot on 6th Avenue. You'll get to experience more than 20 unique vendors selling jewelry, ceramics, home decor, paintings, clothing, and other creations. And coming up next on WTAJ News, a new bill could expand jail access to opioid addiction treatment medication. Plus, we have new details on the aid package for Ukraine. The U.S. is sending a new round of military aid to Ukraine, including controversial cluster bombs. I'm Hannah Brant in Washington. I'll have more on that coming up. bar summer at Eaton Park and our fresh craveable endless salad bar is now even more app feeling for a limited time add any appetizer to the salad bar for only five dollars only at Eaton Park the garden of the empty tomb at Alta Rest Park is an accessible choice for families who choose cremation and want a lasting memorial for their loved ones permanent memorialization serves an important emotional function by helping to bring closure and allowing the healing process to begin. Many kinds of memorials can be designed and installed in the Garden of the Empty Tomb. Please visit our website to learn more about our memorialization options for cremation. Here at the Glass Pro Center, windshield replacement isn't as simple as it once was. Specific steps and materials must be followed for a proper installation. Here at the Glass Pro Center, certified technicians make for a proper, safe glass installation. Call for an appointment today. A police officer is thanking his wife for packing him a special treat in his lunch as it would help him rescue this pup. Find out what that snack was Saturday at 7.30. Where good news meets good morning. WTAJ News Saturday morning, Saturdays at 7.30. WTAJ's Viper Radar with meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt. WTAJ News continues. Welcome back. Today, the Biden administration announced a new aid package for Ukraine, which includes controversial cluster bombs. The weapons have stirred up concern because of their potential to lead to civilian casualties. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Hannah Brandt explains how the White House is trying to justify the new aid. The U.S. is giving Ukraine a new $800 million military aid package. Ukraine's fight is a marathon, not a sprint. So we will continue to provide Ukraine with the urgent capabilities that it needs to meet the moment. Controversial cluster munitions will be part of that new aid. Those are weapons that open in the air and disperse small bombs over a large area. But the bombs sometimes kill civilians when pieces that didn't initially explode blow up later. We recognize that cluster munitions create a risk of civilian harm from unexploded ordnance. This is why we've the defer, deferred the decision for as long as we could. But the Pentagon says the cluster bombs it's planning to send will have a reduced dud rate, meaning fewer unexploded rounds and less threat of unintended deaths. We would be carefully selecting rounds with lower dud rates uh, for which we have recent, recent testing data. And they say Ukraine has committed to finding and removing the unexploded pieces after the war. We're working with Ukraine to minimize the risks associated with the decision. They say Ukraine specifically asked for these weapons because Russia already uses them in their attacks. Is Ukraine's use of cluster munitions on that same land actually that much of an addition of civilian harm, given that that area is going to have to be demined regardless. The new aid package will also include armored vehicles and ammunition, which defense officials say are all critical to success on the battlefield. We will not leave Ukraine defenseless at any point in this conflict, period. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt. 
A bill that would give Pennsylvania's county jails access to all forms of FDA approved medications to treat substance use disorders was passed by the House. This would expand the non-narcotic assisted substance abuse treatment grant program. The program currently allows access to certain forms of treatment. The bill will now move to the Senate for consideration. And Pennsylvania Attorney General Michelle Henry is announcing arrests and criminal charges in multiple child sex abuse cases in the Commonwealth, all connected to the Jehovah's Witness congregation. Henry says five defendants are being charged today, all who were friendly and familiar with the victims and their families through the religious group. This is in addition to nine previous arrests. Henry says, unfortunately, these groups are one of many avenues offenders can use to gain access access to their victims. We've charged 14 individuals. All of them at the time of the sexual assaults were Jehovah Witnesses. Unfortunately, this exists everywhere. And one of the key pieces to child abuse is that the offenders have to have access to their victims. They have to have a way in order to get to them and groom them. Henry says four of the five accused offenders are in custody and they're working to arrest the final defendant. Henry says even though they are being charged, the investigation is far from over. She's urging anyone who may be a victim to contact her office. The gunman convicted in a racist attack on Hispanic shoppers at a Texas Walmart in 2019 was sentenced to 90 consecutive life sentences today. 24-year-old Patrick Crucius pleaded guilty to federal hate crime charges earlier this year after federal prosecutors took the death penalty off the table. Christopher. All right, we are in the clear for now, and it uh, turns out to be a pretty nice Saturday. What about your Sunday? All the details coming up. Stay with us. So you're fed up with that one cable news network you knew and loved, and more importantly, trusted. Did you know there's another choice out there you can trust? News Nation has a trust rating higher than CNN, Fox, and MSNBC. And you can only be the most trusted name in news with the most trusted names in news. See why America's fastest growing cable news network is News Nation. To find News Nation on your TV, go to joinnn.com. At Joel Confer Toyota, we're more than just a full-service dealership. For over 40 years, we've provided the utmost customer service while serving our local communities. Stop in today and let Kyle Hendricks help you find your next Toyota vehicle. Visit our showroom at Joel Confer Toyota of State College. The People's Choice Festival of Pennsylvania is bigger and better than ever. At Grange Park in Center Hall, it's four days of fun, July 13th through the 16th featuring 150 of Pennsylvania's finest artists and crafters, delicious food from all over the place, as well as the finest wines from local wineries, and continuous free live music, tons of activities for the kids, including tie-dyeing, face painting, and more. Grange Park has spacious RV sites available, so bring the RV and stay for the festival. When it comes to building quality cabinets, GP Cabinets in Howard, PA has been doing the right thing the right way for the right reasons for many years. We invest in our people, and we strive to deliver durable, beautiful cabinets. With our new state-of-the-art equipment, you can be confident that your wood cabinets are constructed with care and pride, using quality woods and hardware. Whatever your style and budget, we build your cabinets made to order with exceptional lead time. Let GP Cabinets help you start building your dream today with a free estimate. The hours are really great. I work three twelves. I get paid for 40. If I work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, though, I have four days off. Allegheny is really good with working with people with lesser experience, getting them trained. The shop's really clean. There's retirement. There's health care. We have guys here in high school that are on co-op program. They have a job here if they want it. My name is Mike. I'm a technician at Allegheny Trucks. I've been here for two years. For over 40 years, Joel Confer Toyota has provided the utmost customer service while serving local communities. Stop in today and let Alan Hall use his 44 years of experience to help you find your new Toyota vehicle. Log in today at joelconfer.com or visit our showroom at Joel Confer Toyota of State College. Now your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Christopher Nellen. All right, good evening. Let's take a look at our Skynet Bedford cam where things are 
Tranquil at this hour. Not much wind, uh, no rain, and uh, can't complain. But look at our dew points. Still in the 60s here. Some places actually in the 50s, especially in our northern counties, because guess what? That cool front has moved on through, and that dropped some of that humidity, and uh, that moisture that's been in play is now getting a little bit uh, smushed just for now, but that's going to be changing here as we head into the second half of the weekend. Hey, high temperatures today. We did make it up to near 90 in some locations. Huntington, that was one spot, but most of us were cooler today because we were stuck in the clouds. We had some showers and now those showers have dissipated. Viper is tracking just nothing, so we're going to put Viper to bed for a little bit here as it is going to be on the dry side. Rain amounts today, not a lot. You know, a higher amounts would be right around, say, a quarter of an inch there for Punxsutawney, but most places just seeing a little bit of rain. But we've seen that rain over the last not only several days, but rain has ramped up over the last several weeks, it seems, and Drought Monitor has improved more of that yellow, and that signifies just not as an intense of a drought. But give it some time. More rain on the way that will continue to help the situation. Saturday, we're mainly dry. It's a beautiful day for the most part. And then temperatures will drop as the rainfall begins to come back into play here with more clouds than anything on Sunday. Some of those rain showers coming through Sunday could be heavy at times. So right now we're talking upper 60s, Punxsutawney 70 in uh, State College, 72 I should say, 70 in Altoona, 68 in Somerset. Pretty uniform in the temperature department right now, especially as those dew point numbers have been uh, steady into the 60s. Some clouds are now decreasing. All that wet weather that we did have is gone. But we have a frontal boundary that's not moving too fast. So what does that do? Well, that keeps the clouds around, especially to the east. This is also going to keep rain chances for eastern PA into tomorrow. How far west does that keep it? Well, in our area, I think most of us say dry is high pressure does win out for the most part here. So as mentioned, despite the fact that we're still a little bit juicy out there into the 60s, look at those dew points to the north and west in the 50s. So indicating a little bit of a drier spell as we head into your Saturday. Future track starts out like this. Yes, sun, some clouds, that's it. 9 a.m. is good. Into the afternoon we go, 4 p.m. There it is, just a mix of sun and clouds, showers to the east, but then we watch to the west. There is that next round of wet weather. Clouds start to increase Saturday night, and then showers will be around with us beginning Sunday morning. And then by late Sunday morning to the early afternoon, take a look at this. We'll be talking about some periodic heavy showers and then by the afternoon, get another line of showers and thunderstorms coming through and that could bring in some localized flood concerns. So uh, lots to look at here as we head forward. Future rainfall amounts. Well, we are talking about upwards of an inch or more for some locations. This is with that Sunday wet setup. So uh, be weather aware about that tonight. We'll be falling back into the 60s here. We're just seeing some clouds around for your day on Saturday. Temperatures will be into the middle 80s here and then rolling forward. We got some wet weather and drying out early week. WTAJ Sports with Andrew Clay. While the NBA waited with bated breath to watch Victor Wembanyama tonight, Penn State elated tonight to see a trio of rookies making their pro debuts. While Seth Lundy and the Atlanta Hawks are in action as we speak, Jalen Pickett, Andrew Funk made their debuts earlier with Denver. And this is officially a Jalen Pickett appreciation post. He picketed up from where he left off at Penn State. See what I did there? I'm funny. Ha ha ha. That floater over seven foot six inch taco fall. Pickett also sunk a couple triples, including that one from the corner. 12 points for the former Nittany Lion. The most impressive points, though, coming here on this step back triple. 12 points, six boards, six assists, three steals, an impressive showing. As for Funk, an 0 for 4 night for the rookie shooter. 24 hours after being activated from the IL, the Pirates placed Kim Brian Hayes back on the 10 day injured list. Hayes not over that back injury just yet. He was not alone, though, this afternoon as Pittsburgh also placed Andrew McCutcheon on the 10 day as well. Both will be out until after the All Star break. Pittsburgh's currently playing the Arizona Diamondbacks right now. Meanwhile, back here in minor league baseball, Curve and Seawolves in action tonight. 5 2 Curve in the sixth. Matt Gorski with a base hit here. The runner on second, Jackson Glenn, will score from second. Gorski thrown out, trying to stretch his hit into a double, but it's 6-2 Altoona. 
More curve in the seventh. More offense, that is. This time off the bat of Sung Che Chung into the corner. Chung drives in one and will end up on third with his first triple in a curved jersey. The very next pitch, that's going to go to Claudio Finau, and it's an RBI double that stretches the lead to 8-2 to two as Chang scores. Curve needed all eight runs, though, as they top Erie tonight 8-7. to seven. Seawolf scoring five runs in the final two frames. Philly still in the Sunshine State, taking on the Marlins. Miami up 3-1 to start the ninth, but that's Alec Bohm coming up with a big one-out double. Philly is pulling within a run. Two batters later, Christian Pache pinch hitting with two outs, trying to play the hero. Or will he be the zero? It's hit deep. It's hit far, and it's just over the fence. Pache picking the perfect time for his second career long ball, or second long ball of the season, I should say. Phillies win 4-3, their 13th straight on the road, tying a franchise record. After a Final Four appearance, Penn State lacrosse is reloading for 2024, announcing that six seniors will return for their fifth season, their COVID year, so to speak. The group includes All-American and Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year, TJ Malone, and All-Conference honorees Grant Haas and Jack Posey. After winning the Big Ten regular season title, Penn State advanced to the NCAA Final Four for the second time in program history. Finally, the Pittsburgh Penguins add a couple today. Wingers Andreas Johnson and Vinny Hinnestroza. Northwestern football suspended head coach Pat Fitzgerald two weeks following a hazing investigation. He will serve that suspension immediately. And Jess Pagula, the highest seeded American in either draw at Wimbledon, advances to the fourth round today in straight sets. That's a good sports. We'll be right back. It's backyard weather season. Time for some grilling and chilling with WTAJ's Backyard Barbecue Contest, presented by Park Home and Western Edge Seafood Outlet. Register now on WTAJ.com for a chance to win one of six Western Edge Seafood Outlet $75 gift cards and our grand prize package of a new outdoor patio furniture set from Park Home. WTAJ's Backyard Barbecue Contest is brought to you by Sisney and O'Donnell, Elk County Real Estate, Five Star Power Sports, Mid-State Awning, Steeple Furniture, and Tailored Closet Premier Garage. Register today. The Altoona Curves 25th season celebration continues with this awesome commemorative ring giveaway to the first 1,000 fans on Friday, July 7th. Add this piece of bling to your collection and spend a summer night at PNG Field by grabbing your tickets today to secure this flashy giveaway. Money Savers Construction is a family-operated business serving Central PA for over 20 years. We specialize in metal, shingle, rubber roofing, and seamless gutters and guarantee the highest quality of service starting with a quick, friendly callback. With honest pricing and no gimmicks, why call anyone else? Better roof, better quality, better price. Better call Money Savers Construction for all your roofing and gutter needs today. We live in an area full of beautiful destinations. Breathtaking mountains, rivers, trails, and waterfalls. Often hidden gems just waiting to be discovered. We would like to fuel your discovery this summer. Use our Quick Fill app to navigate to your next adventure and enter to win in our Fueling Discovery Summer Giveaway. No matter where, we'll get you there and proudly fuel the drive. Toyota, Lexus, and Scion owners who want their vehicle fixed right. We work closely with the manufacturer to see to it that your vehicle is repaired with factory parts, not junkyard or knockoff parts. We're equipped, trained, and certified. We recognize repairing vehicles to factory recommended standards, not insurance standards. There is a difference. It's your choice where repairs are done. Don't be steered away. Always talk to us before turning your claim in. It's for your own good. Have your car fixed right. We'll get you out of the picture and so you have good health insurance benefits like Medicare and Medicaid. What if you could keep your benefits and add more without paying more? For those who qualify, a Geisinger Gold Secure RX plan offers $0 premiums, $0 covered medical and hospital care, and prescription benefits with a $0 deductible. Secure RX also includes up to $4,500 in dental benefits, coverage for glasses and contacts, even transportation. Get more Medicare benefits without paying more. Call or visit Geisinger online today. It's the season to refresh and renew. 
and your first stop should be Windy Hill Furniture. From generation to generation, our furniture is built to last for each celebration, every smile, and even the smallest pause. Our furniture is more than just pieces in your home. It's a unique place to visit family and friends. Don't wait weeks or months. Stop by and pick up your one-of-a-kind piece from our in-stock selection, only at Windy Hill Furniture. Logo is turning eight, and you're invited to his big birthday bash on Sunday, July 9th. Celebrate Logo's birthday with mascot kickball game, including the Pirate Parrot, Iceberg, and so many more mascots. Plus, the first 1,000 fans take home a curved mascot pillowcase. Make your plans to celebrate Logo today. Watch Alyssa Royster on WTAJ News Saturday morning. WTAJ News continues. All right, we are uh, going to be on the mild side for tomorrow, but then cooler than average Sunday because we'll see more rain coming back. And then after that, near average, so no extreme heat in the 10-day outlook right now. A lot of 80s, though. The, oh, yeah, we're holding on to those 80s for sure. <laughs> That's Part good. Summer you now. Know, perfect for summer. That's right. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for watching. You can stay up to date by checking out our Facebook page or our website, WTAJ.com. Have a great night. WTAJ News. Follow us on Facebook. There's a lot to like.